I bought every single koozie that you could possibly imagine. Every can cooler, every insulator, anything designed to keep your drink colder longer. I purchased it. I got like 12 or 13 of them. I got a bunch more in the other room. Any store I went into and saw a koozie, I bought it for over the past month. I spent like over $200 or $300 on all this stuff. So this one was like $40 on Amazon or $35. Look at this flipping case, man. This one was like $7 at Walmart. If the Walmart one works the best, this is gonna be probably the craziest video and it's the first one on my page So I'm excited. Here we go. I gotta go hit up Walmart. It's 10 in the morning Literally, I've had all the sodas in the fridge for like two or three days, but I gotta go get no cards and markers I'm getting like a big Poster board or something. I'm gonna make a huge graph so I can track all the temperatures. This is gonna be a sick video, man Just got back from Walmart. Dude, they have so many markers like different kinds of markers that it's actually, it's unbelievable. I'm posting quick little update videos throughout the day on Twitter. Go follow the Twitter if you guys want to be a part of the show every day because the YouTube is like half of the show. And then if you want to know what I'm doing throughout the day and help influence the show, like if I have questions or put predictions and, and polls and stuff throughout the day before the episode comes out at night, the Twitter and the, and the IG are going to be the places... To be. Here we go. I line them up from the least expensive to the most expensive. I think I got it. I kind of guess. I'm going to look at the prices on the PC when I go over there and read the reviews. I'm going to go through each one, unbox it, read a little bit about what the box says, and then give my official prediction. And then we begin the test. I got the graph set up right there. Here we go. Cheapest one is free. It's like the foam ones that they flip and hand out literally everywhere. If this works the best and keeps the drink the coldest, I'm never posting another video again. <laughs> Contestant number two, this is the Walmart brand three-in-one can cooler. Double wall vacuum sealed. I haven't explored any of these yet, so I'm doing this on the camera. So that comes off. It says it fits a standard 12 ounce, a slim, and a bottle. It's got like little ridges inside, so I guess it can hold each one. Oh, that's pretty nice. And this goes on, you screw it on so it doesn't fall out. Wow, Walmart. It's actually really easy to hold. Ozark Trail is the brand. And I'm not sure if the other ones are gonna have this. It's got like a rubber bottom, so it's not gonna slide anywhere. It doesn't like clank when you put it down like this one. Let's go see the price and the reviews. Walmart, here it is, eight. 47. I think I paid like $7 for it. So maybe eight. I don't know. 4.6 out of five. Don't waste your money. I hate using it. <laughs> Contestant number three, the chill and real. So it's just completely plastic. Comes with this little insert. So you can put the drink in and then you can slide it in easier and it stays pretty snug. This one is special because it comes with a fishing line and a hook and a sinker. So you can like toss it out you can fish and drink at the same time and like reeling a fish and i've actually i've done it it works it's very fun and kind of addicting so let's go see here it is 2000 reviews 4.3 stars 17.95 so it does it doesn't say anything about keeping your drink cold so i would be very surprised if this worked the best <laughs> it was on the show shark tank that's why i originally got it they didn't get a deal but I think they should have. It's actually, it's really fun, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Contestant number four, these puffin drink holders. I got two of them because they have like different styles and I feel like they might have different results. So this one is a life vest. This one's a hoodie. Let's go see the reviews. You can actually use code brackets for 20% off because I love these so much and I've made a bunch of videos on them on my other channel. They love the videos. So they gave me a code for you guys to use. So 25 for these new ones. The life jackets are... 20. Honestly, the quality is worth it. How much is the hoodie? 23. With 20% off, it's like, it's less than 20 bucks. So 4.6 stars. Great. My daughter-in-law loved it. One star. <laughs> Whole point of a koozie is to keep a drink cold. This does not do that well enough. Number five, Kanga coolers. Like the Kanga coolers. They actually sent me this koozie. It's got like a finger strap. So <laughs> I guess you won't drop your drink. It's also got the same type of like locking lid, but you can just slide it in. Getting into the big dog, the metal category. This is a beast of a, of a koozie, man. You gotta be a flipping big dog to hold this. <laughs> Let's go see the price. Can insulator, $25. Stainless steel, double wall, vacuum sealed. It says the same thing as the Walmart one. It doesn't keep your drink any cooler than any other product out there. Oh, we're literally about to test it out. Contestant number six coming up. The first one in a box. A very popular brand, Hydro Flask. Wow, 
That is very light. Is that, I think that's, it's lighter than the Walmart one. This is like the lightest metal one I've ever felt. Hydro flask. Dude, this is really nice. Man. Temp shield technology. Oh, here we go. All right, let's go see. I actually just got over here, realized I forgot to flip in, put it in. So you got to take this top off. Nice. It doesn't slide around. Then you got to put it back. This is the best one to hold yet. It's so small. It fits in your hand, man. 24. All right, check out the reviews, man. Oh, they do have a one star. 4.7. That's the highest one we've seen so far. Save your money. Does not really work. A traditional koozie works better. No way. Nowhere near worth 25. Lots of people love it too, man. All right. Option number seven coming up. This has taken me way too long to film. So please drop a like and subscribe. We have literally zero subscribers and probably zero views. And this is going to take like, take a solid day, man. I mean, I've been doing, I've been doing this all day. So this is fun. <laughs> Number seven, the ice shaker. This is brand new and they just came out with this. This was from Shark Tank. They have shaker bottles. It was Rob Gronkowski, the football player, his brother, also a football player, Chris. This is his company and this is their newest product, ice shaker can pan yet. Keeps your can cold for four hours. It also, they only have a slim can. That's why I got the, oh jeez. Wow, that's flipping slippery. Dude, I need a flipping koozie, man. It's like dripping water. That's why you need a koozie. So that's why I got the Celsius. It's like an energy drink and uh, I, it should probably cool down about the same as the Pepsi. I don't know. Oh my gosh, dude. It's way lighter than you would think. I thought it was going to be a beefcake. The base is really nice. All right. Uh-oh. All right. There we go. Uh-oh. doesn't screw on, man. Oh, you got to squish it down. Holy. That's a good koozie, dude. I actually have like three of these shaker cups. I really, I really like them. But anyways... 25 bucks so this is tied for the most expensive so far it's only for skinny cans this is like a it's like a one month old product so let's test it out man contestant number eight i think this is gonna be a sleeper the coldest premium coldie is what it's called the coldest water bottle gets a lot of hate dude i'm not gonna lie because of like they just promote it on it on like tiktok a lot of influencers do but it's one of the coldest bottles that i have it doesn't say anything it doesn't even claim anything it doesn't say best material known to man that's all it says <laughs> all right let's put it in dude does this screw off like the other ones no it doesn't yeah oh it's supposed to i don't i think i just broke it man no way i literally just broke it i barely even tugged it that hard man flip test oh Something's up with this, man. Man, I was just hyped it up and everything, dude. All right. I would probably rather hold the Kanga one than this. It's just a big barrel. It's like a big old Donkey Kong barrel. 17, 17.99. Wait, the skinny one's way more. This is the same price as the Chill and Real. This is like the third least expensive. Wow, all right. 21 times colder longer. <laughs> Wait, what? Triple wall vacuum insulated. Holy cow, this might be the real deal, dude. No wonder it's bigger. It's got triple walls, dude. Coldest technology. Easily put cans in without taking off the lid. Oh, you're not supposed to take it. Triple walled. Wow. 200 reviews. Let's see if any of these one stars. Drink did not stay cold very long at all. Bought my husband one half the price. It works way better. Oh, triple wall, dude. We got three more. The big dogs. These were each like above 30 bucks, I think. Contestant number nine. Yeti Rambler can insulator. Double wall vacuum sealed. Not triple. Only double with the Yeti. It does not have the little, the little rubber bottom, which I kind of like the rubber bottom, man. All right, let's put it in. Ooh, that was nice. It's the most snug one so far. Oh, yeah. That's a good lid, man. It's very nice to hold. Honestly, honestly, I would rather hold the Hydro Flask one. The Hydro Flask has this little lip and you can like kind of rest your hand on it. So it's a little easier to hold. But this is like a little chunker. You know what I mean? It's just simple, man. It's got that Yeti tech. See the price. Yeti Rambler. Oh, 16 ounce for 30 bucks. Where's the... This is a 12 ounce. 25 bucks. Tied with the Kanga. Basically tied with the Ice Shaker. Yeti Thick Gauge Steel. 4.9 stars out of 5. That's the highest yet. Good reviews, man. The second to last one. Which one am I going to pick to win? The coldest, man. I might surprise us. It also belongs way down here in the price. But I'm not going to move it. Anyways, this is the, the Frost Buddy viral on tiktok it's supposed to hold every single size like a flipping holds a bottle 16 ounce can 12 ounce tumbler you can use it as a cup it's like the all-in-one the universal frost buddy 
good. I'm kind of a little sad that Yeti didn't have that, dude. I'm not gonna lie, but oh my, what's this? So it's got different ridges inside it. I guess it stops like the different size cans. Yeah, it stops the different size cans. So that, I guess that's how they can get like, you would take that out if you had a flip in like a big boy can. The insert in, and then I'm gonna put the can in. Woo, slides nice, man, I'm not gonna lie. That holds it like the most snug out of all of them so far. It is pretty heavy. Let's go see the price. Frost Buddy, I remember this was expensive. 35 big bucks for the big Frost Buddy Frost Daddy. Holy, the most expensive one by far. I really paid that much for this. <laughs> 20 times colder. Oh, hold on. 20 times colder for 24 hours. Wait, what? My flipping head hurts, dude. The coldest said 21 times colder. What's going on here? Did they completely copy that and then just add a one? See, it fits every can and every bottle. Now, this says cold for 12 plus hours. Oh, man. Ice cold for 12 plus hours. What happened to 24? 12 hours cold. Oh, my. Let's go check out the last one. The final contestant, the big daddy, the brewmaster. Look at this container that it's in. I got this off of Amazon, and it came in a box, and I opened the box, and my jaw dropped. I have not opened it yet. I can't believe it's in this, like, mega fancy container. Brewmate. The Hopsolator Trio with that accent on the eye. Oh my gosh, dude. This is turning into chaos, man. If this doesn't work the best, look what it says. Bevlock technology. Bevguard technology. Pushlock technology. The most versatile can cooler in the world. Comes with a freezable adapter for 12 ounce cans. Uh oh, was I supposed to freeze something? I think I was supposed to freeze something. Turns into a 16 ounce pint glass with 100% leak proof. Whoa, what? Wait a second. Wait, this actually might be sick, dude. This is a little crazy, man. Here we go. Let's open it up. So this part, you're supposed to freeze this. An ice pack, I guess. You're supposed to freeze it, and then you put it in because you have to put this in so that your can can be tall enough. But I didn't freeze it, and I'm probably not going to freeze it because I don't have time anymore. So that's unfortunate for the brew for the brew ma brewmaster whatever this is called but it does uh it does screw in pretty nicely dude it's kind of awkwardly like exactly like the frost frost daddy i like how you could just pour the drink in here and then put this top on but that's not what we're testing let's go see the price i remember now i got this because it was the most reviewed it has seventy thousand reviews 4.9 stars that's got to be fake dude that's unbelievable that's like unbelievable amount that's why I bought this. I, for, I remember now. 20 times colder. Double wall stainless steel with an extra copper layer. This triple wall. Does it keep the drink colder? That's what we want to know. That's what we're going to find out. Here we go. I reordered all of them from the actual cheapest, the free foam ones, to the most expensive, the $35 Frost Daddy. Frost, Frost Buddy. So we officially have free... $8 Walmart, $18 Chillin' Real, $18 Coldest, $20 Puffin, $23 Puffin Hoodie, $23 Hydro Flask, $25 Kanga, $25 Ice Shaker, $25 Yeti, $30 Brewmaster. I found the wrong one earlier, but it, the one I got was $30 and the $35 Frost Buddy. My official prediction is the Yeti. I think the Yeti's gonna keep it coldest, the longest. I'm gonna measure every 10 minutes for two hours. I'm gonna stand here for two hours and map it all out. I got a graph. These are the underdogs. If any of these actually work better than any of these over here, the most expensive ones, I would be very surprised. Although this Walmart one, $8, this thing, it seems like it's good quality, man. I'm picking Yeti because their cups and coolers are, are top notch and I feel like their koozies, their canned cooler is gonna also do the trick. But I don't know, dude. The Frost Buddy did say 20 times colder for 24 hours. I don't know if that's true at all, but let's flip and do it. Let me go get all the Pepsis, put them in here, and we're, it's gonna be a fun two hours. Here we go. <laughs> Ice flipping cold, dude. Let me put them in each koozie real quick. I'm gonna do a room temperature one as well. I'm gonna open all of them and take the starting temperatures. They all should be around the same. Let's open them all up. Ugh. So I want this to so everything. After 39.2 degrees Fahrenheit, 36.5, 36.5, 39, 38, 38, 37, 37.6, 38.3, 39, 39, 39.2. Start the timer. 10 minutes. We take the temps. Here we go. While we're waiting, let's put our starting points on the graph. All right, so I'm actually not going to use that graph. 
over there. So in between rounds, I'm just going to flip it hot back over here. I just put together this chart and this graph. I just input all the starting temperatures for each one. And it's going to automatically calculate the total increase. And then together, we're all going to see at the same time which one wins each round. Like which one is still technically the coldest, like the least increased temperature. The graph is blank right now, obviously. But when I put in the next temperatures, it's going to pop up. And you'll see. All right. So 10 minutes about to be out. Let's check the temperatures. Start with the normal one with no koozie 44.5 an increase of five degrees 40.2 walmart started at 36.5 no way 37.5 holy walmart baby all right let's see if that keeps up all right i had a little extra time this round i put in all the logos so it actually looks pretty cool but Anyways, boom, it's going to automatically calculate the total increase. Boom, there they are. So right now, after 10 minutes, if you didn't have a koozie, your drink would go up five degrees. The best koozie to have on your drink after 10 minutes, if you're going to take, you know, more than 10 minutes to drink, which you probably, probably are, I guess. Coldest or the Yeti. These are from least expensive to most expensive. So Walmart is the best bang for your buck. $8 for a 0.2 degree difference. Coldest is winning though after round one. Here we go. Just put in all the numbers. I haven't really looked, analyzed them at all. So this is as of right now before I press the magic buttons. Here we go. In three, two, one. Boom. Each time is going to be a different color. So if you're looking, which koozie is the coldest? After 10 minutes, you look at the red and then you'll see, uh, you know, which one has the smallest red. And then if you're like, uh, uh, maybe I want to know which one's coldest after 20 minutes, it's going to be, you know, a yellow. So here it is right now. Walmart sitting at a two degree increase. Yeti is taking the lead a 1.3. Ice shaker coming out of nowhere, man. Yeti one ice shaker two. Three is the coldest. The leader from last round four is the hydro flask. And in fifth place is Walmart. Slipping a little bit, but two degrees still pretty good, man. Brewmate is a little disappointed for a $30 one, but I also didn't freeze the little ice pack. So I think I'm going to do that in another, another show, another episode of the show. So drop a subscribe if you haven't. All right, I got to take temps. Here we go. We're back after 30 minutes. Here we go. Let's put the numbers up there in three, two, one. Which one's in the lead, man? The ice shaker has taken the lead by 0.1 over the Yeti. <laughs> After 30 minutes, your drink will be the coldest in the ice shaker koozie. I did not expect that because that's a new, it's a new flipping product, man. They like just came out with it a month ago. Only for slim cans though. So, you know, maybe it's not accurate. I don't know. The Walmart's doing better than the coldest triple wall. 21 times colder than the normal koozie coldest. The Brewmate, 70,000 five-star reviews is currently not doing, not doing good. Ice Shaker in first, Yeti in second. Hydro Flask is in third. The Walmart is in fourth place and the coldest is in fifth place. After 40 minutes, here we go. In three, two, one. Boom, there it is. If you didn't have a koozie, 14 degree increase 14 and a half the ice shaker is still in the lead with only a 0.6 degree increase that round ice shaker going neck and neck with the yeti is absolutely is actually crazy 100 percent did not expect that <laughs> going into it walmart still hanging in there ice shaker in first for the second round in a row yeti in second hydro flask is in third place good i like the hydro flask man coldest is in fourth place and the frost buddy moves into fifth place and overtakes walmart the brewmate no oh, 70 000 five star reviews people don't know what they're missing with the walmart <laughs> round five 50 minutes have passed i'm sweating already <laughs> in three two one the leader still after 50 minutes the ice shaker has only increased in temperature by three not even four degrees these guys gotta make a flipping soda can one that is crazy four times better than if you didn't have a koozie the coldest claimed to be 21 times better and it's currently only three times but that's still pretty good first place Ice Shaker, back-to-back -back rounds. Second place, five-degree increase, Yeti. Third place is the Hydro Flask. Fourth place is the coldest and the Frost Bunny. Walmart is in fifth place. I'm sad about the Puffins, man. I, I wanted them to work better, dude. One hour down. Oh, my goodness. Feels good to sit down. <laughs> Let's see. In three, two, one. 
in the lead for three rounds after one hour if your drink is sitting there for one hour the one to buy is the ice shaker by a long shot second place is the hydro flask has taken second place from the yeti dude i predicted the yeti man no this is kind of fun man drop a like and subscribe dude we still got another hour <laughs> how is the walmart one keeping up at this point i mean it should be up here right i mean 70 minutes later after 70 minutes if you haven't drink your entire soda i would be very surprised but we're gonna do the test anyways you never know we got some slow drinkers out there your drink would be 18.9 degrees warmer than when it started the ice shaker has been dethroned after three rounds in first place uh oh the yeti is bringing the thunder at the 70 minute mark moving into first place yeti in first second place is hydro flask third place is the ice shaker maybe don't get the ice shaker if you're gonna take longer than an hour to drink <laughs> what are 70 000 people reviewing this five stars for that's i'm missing something maybe i should have froze that little block man all right anyways 80 minutes later in three two one there it is if you take 80 minutes to drink you're gonna want to still go with the yeti man the yeti's packing a punch after the hour mark ice shaker is melting oh no first place yeti second place hydro flask trying to keep up with the yeti third place coldest one and a half hours later there better be more than two people watching this dang video will the yeti hold on till the two hour mark yeti is in the lead but only 0.5 in front of the hydro flask here we are with two rounds to go yeti in first place hydro flask still in second these guys are neck and neck that's awesome third place is the frost daddy frost buddy and the walmart basically tied foam koozie is about to catch the no koozie <laughs> one hour and 50 minutes we got only one more round left is the yeti still the one to have three two one yeti first place second place hydro flask third place is the walmart brand with one round to go only one degree higher than the yeti oh my could Walmart take the win? We did it two hours later. I literally just did this for two hours. I'm flipping really, really tired. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot more work than you would think. Here we go. Let's see the winner. The best koozie. Here we go. The Yeti is the winner. Let me hide the legend. Your beverage would be 24.3 degrees warmer after two hours if you didn't have a koozie. The foam one really doesn't help at all. Let's go get them. Let's go get them real quick. All right, I grabbed the top five and all also the ice shaker because that just crushed the first hour i would go full screen but i want i want you guys to see the numbers still man which one's actually like the lightest walmart's lighter than the yeti i think hydro flask is lighter than the walmart way that is the heaviest one man this coldest one i think is a little lighter than the hydro flask so those are pretty close the easiest one to hold is hydro flask the worst one to hold i'm gonna go with the coldest man i can like only grab like half of it in my hand officially my final thoughts i don't know what do you guys think man i would probably say the best one would be the coldest one after about how long does it take you guys to drink your drinks i'm gonna have a poll up on twitter um we have zero followers over there so probably not gonna be the most exciting poll but you guys go over there man i'm gonna put polls over there all the time it's gonna be like our home our home base coldest one after 30 minutes is probably the one i would get which one was that after a half hour the ice shaker was number one yeti was number two pretty much tied i'd get an ice shaker but it's only the slim can so if you're looking at a soda can my best koozie ozark trail i'm gonna do it man i'm giving it to ozark trail my top five ozark trail i'm gonna go with hydro flask because it's way easier to hold at number two yeti is gonna be number three for me number four even though it's a big barrel it actually works i'm gonna go with the coldest number five we're going frost buddy obviously number one is ice shaker if you're drinking it in under an hour ice shaker's got to make a soda can baby thank you guys so much for watching man i love you guys